What a great looking movie. When's the next showing? Can I see a preview? Nowadays, nearly everyone has the internet in their pocket and access to the world's information at their fingertips. However, getting and interacting with that information isn't always easy. So where did I put that barcode scanner? Do I even have a barcode scanner on here? However, if we believe in Moore's Law at all, we can project that there are going to be millions of smart devices in our homes, in our work, and everywhere in between. Accessing functionality from these devices can be just like using the web. You just walk up, tap, and go. Cool, there's a show in just a few minutes. Hello, I'm Scott Jensen, and this is The Physical Web. So how does this work? The poster is using a Bluetooth low energy beacon to broadcast a URL once every second. The device here can run for five years on a single charge. There's a simple scanner on the phone that looks around whenever you wake it up. It won't do any scanning if the phone is in your pocket. The user must always ask to see if anything is nearby. If the scanner discovers something, it'll give you a list to choose from, ranked and filtered to reduce spam, and bring the most relevant content to the top. You select a web page and it opens just like clicking on a search result. One of the reasons we use URLs is that they are very well understood and flexible. They can point to a simple web page with information, a more interactive web app, or can even deep link into a native application on your phone. As these beacons are really just small computers, the URLs can even dynamically change, reflecting a sensor value or even an authentication token. Check out this parking meter example. The user walks up to it and pulls out their phone to see a list of nearby devices. They tap on the parking meter and are taken to a web page. They just add the time they want and hit pay. All of the building is taken care of in the cloud, and once that's done, it just authorizes the meter. So what's happening here? The physical web URL points to a web page on a standard web server that connects to a small controller here inside the parking meter. When the purchase goes through, it uses a web socket to message the board, which then adds the time. While the movie poster took you on a journey from the beacon to the phone and then straight to the web, here the parking meter completes the loop, interacting directly with the machine right in front of you, all just using standard web technologies. I want to stress this just a bit. The physical web is only about getting the URL to the phone. Everything else after that is just using the web. In this example, all of the real work is done by using web sockets. That's the idea behind the physical web. Objects can broadcast URLs wirelessly to the area around them. Anyone with a phone or tablet nearby can scan the area, pick an object, and interact with it on the spot. Unlike most apps today, the physical web enables very small interactions, things that you'd never consider using an app for. A dog collar could let you find its owner. A bus stop could tell you when the next bus is coming. You could rent a bike, get a mall map, or even watch a tutorial on a new home appliance. The web is powerful because it works so well for the long tail. Nearly anything can have its own web page. The value of the web is having access to millions of small web pages. This same power can be applied to smart devices and even places. Each one of these physical web interactions is moderately useful, but taken together they demonstrate how letting everything be interactive opens up a new long tail of ephemeral interaction for the entire world around us. The physical web is just an extension of the existing web. Like all web technologies, it's open, and anybody can build on it. Because it uses URLs as the core building block, the entire system is decentralized, so nobody controls it. With the discovery of web pages made frictionless, we're excited to see what kind of next-generation experiences developers like you will build on top of the web. Thank you.